This set of videos that we're making are instructional for our beginning students to help clarify how I'm teaching these techniques at this time. Perhaps you'll be able to use them as well, so that is why I'm making them public. There's so many different ways of doing techniques and people have their own different styles and even within the styles there's different styles. So that's why I'm clarifying exactly how I'm doing things to make it easier for my students to understand what I'm looking for on a test. So, kata te dori, ikyo omote. Go straight out at 9 degrees in on the 45. So what this is doing is it's getting me as far as I can from his far shoulder, which means if he starts to strike at me, I'm out of range. The second step, so first step out at 90, the second step in is when you throw the atemi. So if I stay out here, I'll change the angle so you can see this, um, but if I strike from out here, it has no effect. When you step in on the 45 degrees, your body mass is moving toward uke, and your reach gives you plenty of effect. Okay? So it makes a very credible disturber. The left hand, my, uh, this hand, is going down here, which throws him off balance as well, and it actually into the atemi at the same time. So, from there, turn your hand down, and it will open up a gap underneath his hand, and you can reach around his hand, trap his thumb with your thumb, and reach in with to, underneath to that gap with your long finger. And then, drive the wrist toward his hip, which drives him his, his elbow up and buckles it, and makes it easy. It gives you a leverage on his elbow and your left hand is going up into his arm his elbow and you're stepping out to the point of the triangle so down here point 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 of the triangle and then swing this down in an arc and back up then a knee in the armpit you hit the wrist and send the arm up so I'm starting with my foot on the cross here. So the left foot is going straight out at 9 degrees and the right foot is coming in on 45. This puts me as far as I can get from his right shoulder and so he's out of, of uh, steam when he tries to punch. But I have plenty of steam. And, and uh, the atemi comes from the back foot stepping in. So it's your body mass moving through space combined with your arm going out that provides the motive force, the energy for that strike. Okay. Um, if you don't take that step, this is ineffective. You can't reach it. And you're open for a kick. So you want to step out here at 45. Now I'm lined up. He can't hit me here. And he can't kick me. And this hand is going down like that, and it throws him off balance like that. It's like there's a milk bottle down here on the floor behind him, and you're reaching for the milk bottle. And the antennae here disturb him. Turn your hand down, reach over, and trap his thumb with your thumb. Send your long finger in under his palm, and then send his hand toward his hip. Think of Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if you shorten B squared, C squared's got to break. And that's exactly what it does. So drop your front elbow, twist his hand, which gives you leverage on his wrist. Left hand's coming up into his elbow, right, right above the elbow joint. Right foot comes to the left foot, and then the front foot comes out to the point of the triangle. So point, 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 an equilateral triangle, and then I literally apply yin and 
yang to this, so the, the hand is coming down in an arc, like the yin and the yang, and the hand comes back where the elbow stays down, which throws his shoulder down. So, it's more so than the normal Iwama style. Keep his hand at 9 degrees, and then send the arm up. You don't have to put a lot in on the hand that way, and then you keep from damaging Uke's wrist. Out at 90, in on the 45, turn the, the hand down to, that's throwing him off balance. Catch with the thumb on his thumb and long finger into the gap in his palm. Send the, your wrist toward his hip. Drop the elbow, twist the hip, the wrist. Catch the elbow in the, just above the elbow. Slide out to the point of triangle and then swing the arm down in an arc. So when the hand starts coming up, the elbow's still going down, so it keeps the shoulder down. In the armpit, in the wrist, keep the wrist at 90 degrees, and send the whole arm up until Uke taps. If at some point, I'll uh, turn a little bit. If Uke is very loose, very flexible, and the arm gets up to, um, and here I'm letting it turn so I can get up that high. If, if the arm gets up to that angle, the shoulder will start to disconnect, and, and it'll, it'll kind of flip a little bit inside the joint, and then you won't really have a good hold. So at that point, apply a little bit more pressure to send the fingers in toward his head, and then you'll get the tap there. So. If, if he's going to pin fine without push, putting pressure on the hand, then go ahead and just, just send the arm up and get the tap from that. And then it's just stretching the tendons in the arm without overstressing the wrist. 